men want to know how Dutch butter gets here to grow as epically as it does. I don't know. It just, it just grows. <laughs> it just grows. You're supposed to say, I rub it in with eagle I'm sweat. Supposed to, I'm supposed to say, uh, I have a more testosterone, I guess, than, than you, most men. Than you girly boys. <laughs> <laughs> than you girly boys. You girly boys. <laughs> Got more, more tea. That's right. High tea. <clears throat> Speaking of tea, cheers to uh, Beard of War for providing us. Are we going? Yeah, we're going. With our uh, cup of Liberty koozies. Not koozies. What are these called? Thermals? Or? I don't, drinking vessels. <laughs> Drinking vessels. Drinking vessels. Description. Look in the description. You can buy one of your own. Support Beard of War. Thank you, sir. (laughs) Welcome, Helldivers. Start start making these ourselves. You want to steal his product? They can support us. (laughs) (laughs) It's one way to go about it. Or we could just say, hey, check out the description and go to the link and get your own and support Beard of War. And uh, spread the wealth a little bit. That's good Dutch. Told you I'm a dick. <laughs> I'm kind of an asshole. There's <laughs> enough room for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. My money. <laughs> all right. Welcome, Helldivers, to the 33rd episode. 33rd. 33rd episode. 33rd. Isn't, isn't 33 like a... like a, I don't know. A, it's some, a Mason thing, right? There's some conspiracy like, about that. Whatever. What What isn't? What isn't? What isn't a Mason good, conspiracy theory? 23 is a conspiracy number. 33 is a conspiracy number. You know, yeah. We obviously know exactly what we're doing right now. Uh, I don't know hey, where we're going. I don't know either. Hey guys, I've, I've been in a really shitty mood all day long. <laughs> I'm sorry. And dude. you're like, hey, you want to come do it tonight? And I'm like, no, not really. Do you want to do it tomorrow morning? Because <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh man, prepared to do it tonight. We're 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 recording the show early, a little early, about half a day early, and I just wasn't, threw you off your wasn't mentally prepared for this. <laughs> So yeah, prepare yourself. Messing with, I'm supposed to get, be getting ready to do a live stream right now. Well, we can do that. Still got time. I don't know. Anyway, so topics for today, guys. Uh, we're going to be talking about the new space station. We're going to be talking about the potential hazards and probably some of the pitfalls that are going to come with that, and the possibility of platoons, which is going to add a whole another bit of drama to the game. Drama, drama, and nonsense. Um, and then. There's been some secret nerfs. Have you know? Have you heard about this? Have you have you realized here's, this? Here's what I know. What um, I know. I've the times I've logged on to play this week, um, I have not had any fun. Something happened. I, some something feels off. Yeah. I I I, I can't do anything right. <laughs> I, I I suck so bad. Yesterday, I deleted the stream. <laughs> it wasn't for real. It, it wasn't. It was the one that I, I was on with you. It, the, the last night, whatever. Yeah, it was, yeah. Last yeah night. It wasn't. It wasn't fit for human consumption. It got. Whoa. It got privated because damn. All I did was die. It was a rough. And that's not a name I mean, of a song title for somebody to make, but it's true. <laughs> all I did was die, and it was just. It was bullshit, and it, it, we were all we were doing was eights. No, that was it, a seven. Even better. Yeah, that was even a better. Seven. It was. It was nuts though. Even was I was just, like is going on well we were fighting bugs and bugs are janky but bots are even worse i think potentially i think bots might be worse because their know. their aim has gotten so ludicrously good check this out <laughs> check this out this is a story for you okay this is an example of why i think joel out there took the fucking aim on the bots and just like cranked it to a thousand mm-hmm. um i'm going in diving having some fun spilling some oil normal shit yeah no big deal come up to one of those freaking hulks with that stupid turret arm, mm-hmm. right? And I'm like, oh, extreme prejudice, death, now, kill it. And I just, I freaking beelined it, got my shot on it. Before I could throw a, a rail cannon at it, it freaking shoots the ground next to me. I ragdoll mm-hmm. into the sky. Yeah. And it shoots me out of the sky like a clay tablet. No. I'm not That's joking, hilarious. dude. I went flying and that thing went, and just <laughs> dead in midair. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> That's great. That's wild. <laughs> like, uh, and I've, this has been happening consistently for the past couple of days now where I've noticed a drop in on bots, bugs. Bugs are a different thing, but bots specifically, their aim is ludicrously good. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, I, it's uh, insane. I haven't been able to tell if it's just me because I've been having a... You've been in a funk I've been, lately. I've been having a bit of a time lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
physically or if it's just the, or if something happened to the game or maybe it's a combination of both but i've just been getting nowhere mm. nowhere with the game and it's really been frustrating me this week and i finally just uh said you know what i'm gonna go scavenge some shit in the future <laughs> in that other game <laughs> and that one's even less forgiving though isn't yeah, it? yeah but it seems like it's way easier and more fun right now that's crazy it's weird that is crazy yeah um the bugs. I I dove with uh, our boy Bez today. Yeah, I know. I saw you. Oh, you did. I was in and out of that chat like a dozen times. Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> You're just lurking. I'm lurking. You freak. <laughs> um, had a good time with him. Good solid run with the uh, full squad. Yeah. We were taking down tens. Yeah, we were accomplishing them, but they were they were pretty tight on the on the bug side. Mm -hmm. Um, but that brings up one of the things I wanted to one of the main subjects for the for the show today. This new space station. Uh -huh. We have the mo. It yeah. says we have to hold touring in touring, order yeah. to uh, the planet in order to build some facility that's going to help us out with the construction of this yeah, new say here? Gonna liberate new touring to allow the construction of a new Xeno entomology center that will develop high efficiency E710 warp drives to outfit the DSS. Yeah. Okay. So, so the idea is, okay, touring. Touring is already liberated. Yeah. You can't even go to it because there's no reason to. Okay. But there's a planet right next to it yeah. that is not liberated. And it's we're struggling to fight it because not enough people are on it. Because people think, oh, touring's it, like the little check mark is done mm -hmm. on the MO, right? So mm -hmm. people are like, oh, the MO's done. Fuck off. And they yeah, just yeah. go wherever they want. Yeah, go wherever I want. I'm even guilty of it to a certain extent. Yeah. I logged on the other day. You're talking about Akamar 4. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How, what are we at there? Do, do you have it pulled up? Um, I, don't, I wonder if we're farther on along than we were earlier today. Looks like it's almost there if is it's it? not there already okay yeah. I'm getting close then yeah that's good um there's also something going on with the the the, the planet on bot side where the dss station is being built that planet's liberated but the planets around it aren't mm -hmm. so there's like you have to strategically decide which planet to go after as a group in order to protect that planet that has the as the dss on it otherwise the bots are going to attack that planet and slow construction down yeah. so there's all these like yeah, here's the MO, but then there's like a sub MO that isn't really spoken. It's mm -hmm. just you have to understand how the game is played to get it. And I think a lot of people just don't. People need to look at those supply connect yeah. the connector lines to be able to yeah, the supply figure lines. out what. Uh, exactly. And people, I mean, they've yeah. been around for a while. I feel like they, people should know. But even I'm guilty of it as well. I'll freaking log on and I'll be like, which planet has the most people on it? Oh, that one. Okay. You're talking about and I just Helivar, dive in. right? Huh? You're talking about Helivar, right? Is that what it's called? I, I don't guess. Know. I think they say, I think the G is. Oh, really? It's, it's not. In, it's in, not Galavar. It's Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that his hometown? That's yeah, Palestine's hometown, right? Something like that. Yeah. He took a picture next to a sign. I saw that. It said that. Helivar on it, yeah. drinking a beer. Yeah, good good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I like that. That's kind of cool, actually. <clears throat> yeah. I want to go there one day. But you know, Lasath, Ember, and Mastia are the three planets around that there that are connected to it. Yeah. So, according to this map on the <laughs> companion app, so. Do you think that the game needs to make more of a point to explain why we need to do these things? Well, explain why we need to do it, but also like maybe if it's not part of the official MO, mm -hmm. but it's still something that's important that needs to be highlighted because I feel like they try to throw us off. Yeah. Like, oh, this one planet's actually the important planet, but there's like three defense missions on these other ones. Mm -hmm. And the defense missions always distract people. I'm like, oh shit, d defense, we got to defend the planet. And they all just fuck off and they bail over to the defense planet. And then they leave that one that we're supposed to be taking <laughs> yeah. vulnerable. Right. Right. I'm guilty of it too. I'm not. I'm not talking shit about any players out there. I'm just like I. I fall for these little tricks here once in a while too, and then I usually get yelled at by the people in our chat. They're like, "You're not on the right planet." I'm like, "Oh fuck." Okay, sorry. I'm on the planet. I'm on the one they told me to go. <laughs> I, to. I was just on the thing, man. And <laughs> big fucking arrow was pointing at it. I yeah. went to that one. <laughs> yeah, it gets so, a little confusing, or you okay. know, or we're just or like, we're just kind of dumb. No, we're dumb. It might be yeah. that. Little skill slow. tissue, you know what I mean. A little slow. <laughs> here's your no. palate of skill. Here's your palate of skill tissues. Um, but let's talk about the space station. Yeah. Now, I've I've read and heard some concerning things about this. So, well, I've heard it's not even what we were thinking that it was going to be. Well, we we thought it was going to be platoons. Or platoon yeah, I thought, stations, I thought we right? were gonna, all going to be able to have the ability to build like a basically a, like our own our own ship yeah, that no. all of our boys could talk to and then we could this is have a place to hang out and drink and party and no this is gonna be like a space like our like a death star yeah for for hell divers but there's only gonna be one of them 
Yeah. And here's where the problem comes in. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, there's going to be some kind of a democratic vote as to where this space station is supposed mm -hmm. to be able to be deployed. And we all, we all know that there is a high discrepancy between which side favors how many players, mm -hmm. right? So bug players always get the vast majority of the player base on that side. Yep. And if they decide that, oh, uh, I want this space station on bug side. It's going to orbit Crimsica. And forever. Just fucking it's forever. Gonna it's never going to leave the fucking terminant side. And it's always going to be there <laughs> um, unless they just manually move it to the bot side because that's where the MO is. Yeah. But they said it's going to be like a voting system where you get to mm -hmm. choose where it's going to be. And it provides like new stratagems and extra support and this and that, whatever, yada, yada, well, yada. Here's the thing. Um, what you, what's on, your only men who are <laughs> tax, tax paying property owners <laughs> should be able to vote in the system. <laughs> Going back to the 1700s, baby. <laughs> I joke. I can't. Yeah. But uh, no, it's going to be a problem. It's definitely going to be a problem, right? Problem. Am I crazy no. or is that right? No. They're definitely going to fuck no. it up. Yeah, like they're, these, they're gonna fuck it up somehow. These uh, these bot players, Dem democracy. <laughs> it's a, mob rule. What a joke! And the mob, <laughs> the mob always fucks up the mo. How that's else right. am I supposed to see that? Like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's what's gonna happen. Uh -huh. I think it's a terrible idea. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is an awful idea. I, I'd rather not have there's, it because it's just gonna be a there's point. There's a reason of, the militaries aren't democratic. <laughs> it's just gonna be a point of contention for <laughs> Imagine people. Imagine telling Patton. So uh, the boys voted on the platoon 312 to 104 that we're not going to invade Normandy this week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, War's off, boys. <laughs> you all voted. You, you win. Yeah, yeah. I feel like General Brash's vote's going to count for like a million. <laughs> it's just going to be like, General Brash says it needs to go here. It's like, mm, the boys... The boys want to go to uh, Virginia Beach, not not Utah. <laughs> no, you, oh, Utah sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you not Utah. <laughs> I don't want to go to Salt Lake City. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm a little worried, man. I'm a little concerned about this because um, what? Because it could be used theoretically. It could be used to kind of help guide players. Yeah. If put in the proper. So this place. thing's going to get built. It's going to be able to go yeah. from planet to planet where we need it. Need it, need it to go, yeah, and it's gonna have some uh, some next level, some extra orbital, orbital shit, some extra you know, shit. It's, it's gonna provide support. Basically. Maybe it can just blow up an entire, you know, like in Rogue One, little like small Death Star charges. Exactly, yeah. It'll just blow up a quarter of the planet instead of the whole thing. Yeah, you know, I don't know. So, <sighs> it's, I think I think it's probably gonna be one of those things where if you're on the planet that gives that has the DSS over it you'll get like an uh, like an extra stratagem slot or something cool. like yeah. a couple extra things on there that you can tack the, on they for the come mission. from that instead of they come ship. from that instead of your ship i think that's probably what it's going to be uh and then maybe some extra reinforcements or something who knows but ooh, you mean like those orphans that we right yeah the orphans we say yeah. they're, they're almost gonna, done with their training finally gonna put them to uh, yeah things. they're they're done with their sief training and now they're gonna be able to drop down it's like man where are they at <laughs> let's go <laughs> i mean we have a ton of new stratagems that have mm. been like leaked and they're yeah. in the game. They just haven't been released yet. So it's a possibility that there could be a handful of those coming along with this thing as well. There's all kinds of potential. But the big sticking point for me is, fuck, don't make this a voting system. No. Please don't. Don't give the... No. Don't. We don't yeah. need that much power. Just tell us where to <laughs> Tell fight. us where to go. <laughs> just fucking... Let's go. <laughs> tell us where to go. We are gun-happy, fucking murder-rage machine idiots. They, just let us go. They need to, like... <laughs> They mean to make it a, a beneficial to follow orders. Yeah. And you need to be penalized for not somehow. Or so. discouraged. Don't say penalized. People get offended by that. I don't care. <laughs> well, I shouldn't be penalized <laughs> for playing a game. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, bug fighter. Get over here. <laughs> We're joking. Relax. Chaos diapers. <laughs> fucking read the comments already. Well, you hate no bug fighters, man. I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's fun for you. Fine. Um, no, I don't know, man. Worried. What's 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 your final say on this? Is it going to work or is it not going to work? It's uh, it's going to be kind of chaotic for a while until uh yeah until uh Palstat and the boys figure out. It's like yeah, maybe maybe we shouldn't have let them vote on it. But, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, 
democracy is not a very maybe good uh, thing, you know? maybe <laughs> just raw democracy is not really a good idea then. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, actually people are pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back into my closet and figure it out. <laughs> We still haven't done that skit. No, we gotta no, do that skit. Um, all right, before, hey, before we move on to the next subject, because I forgot to do it at the beginning of the show, I'm gonna do it right now. Please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to that 5,000 subscriber mark. That's a big milestone for us. We will be doing a giveaway when we hit that. So share this, sh uh, share the show with other hell divers and uh, shout us out. Subscribe. Do all that cool stuff. And if you want to dive with our crew and come hang out with the over 800 members of our Discord, that is insane. Yeah. Last time I checked, we were like eight something. Yeah. We're, we're also a thousand now. I think we're pushing a thousand. Jesus. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Go to saltynerddiscord.com. That'll also be in the description. And uh, join up. We have a lot of people there who play the game, a lot of really high level players. And uh, we have voice chats that are available to anybody. Come in there. You can right. jump in with a voice chat. 862. Like 862. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, eh, that's eight something. But yeah, awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Next subject. Um, so we had assumed that the, the space station thing had something to do with platoons. Yeah, yeah. And that got it us still might. that got us all very excited. Because the, the the word platoon has been out there in a while when it comes to hell divers. Mm -hmm. I've seen it come up in other people's videos. I've seen the potential. You know, the, the DSS was kind of like it perked the ears up a little bit for yeah. that. But as soon as I started talking about it and got excited about it, you were like, oh fuck, bro, you don't know what you're getting into. <laughs> you have no no idea, idea what you're getting into. Because you had some World of Warcraft bullshit. I was in guilds for years. And guild years. guild drama that you were worried about. What's your what are your thoughts well, on, on guild, having guilds? guilds? Just, you know, you you get a group of people together and you know, you start assigning ranks and and jobs and duties and and stuff to to, to people and you know, and it it inherently causes problems. Hmm. There's 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 always going to be, you know, there's always going to be people out there who are going to be unhappy about everything and anything all the time. Can't so, make everybody happy. You know, we're going to, there, there are going to be platoons in this game. They've, they've found the, the stuff in the, in the, in, in the, when they, in the code, in the code, you know, yeah. with, you know, platoon leaders and sergeants and privates and all that kind of stuff. And, and um, it's going to come. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how it has anything to do with this DSS or, or whatever, but it's, it's it is going to come in the game, mm -hmm. and there is going to come a time when we're going to have a salt divers platoon. You're going to be the commanding officer. I'm going to be in second command, and our boys are going to be the the, the, the officers. Yeah. The officers, yeah. and um, everybody else is going to fill in the private ranks. You know, that's just how it was ranked in the things that we saw. Mm -hmm. But you know, you and I. As the commanding officers, you know, we play about 12 hours a week and we're going to be telling these guys that play 70 hours a week, you know, what, Bro, what, what we live want them. streamed yeah, for like 26 he's a, he's hours a in a row. 26 he's hours. And, that, and that's <laughs> fine. But, but you, you know, um, I just, I just, there's, there's, it's just a system that inherently is going to cause some issues at yeah. some point, some way. It, it, I've never been in a guild where there wasn't some kind of drama. And it's usually over just it's usually over stupid disagreements or whatever. Has has this game over the past 8 months or so been more turbulent than what you would say like old school World of Warcraft has been with like just the the nerfs and the buffs and the devs and and the arguments and um, the bug divers and the bot divers and the chaos divers and all this stuff. Is that do you think that's normal for like a large scale MMO like this? I don't really feel like this game is an MMO like World of Warcraft was, okay. but it it certainly can be, you know. But we're not going up to a quest giver on the DSS station, or maybe we will be. That has a freaking exclamation point over his head, and he's <laughs> going to go go to uh, Estonia and gather, yeah, you know, fifteen uh, bug on trails and bring them <laughs> back to me, so we can turn them into a fucking you know whatever, yeah. You know, that I, might that's, be a thing. that's 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 not that kind of that's not what this kind of game is, you, you, but you know who it knows could be. it could be because we we just do go kill fifteen billion bio titans. Yeah, but do you remember instead of getting fifteen on trails? Do you remember a while back when we were talking about we have that little tablet on our side mm -hmm. and we can go get like extra intel and extra yeah. like secret missions and stuff like that based off of the the details that we yeah. get. 
that could be something that what you're describing right now is exactly what that is. Yeah. It's like you yeah. go to the DSS well, and you talk to the freaking one dude yeah, who has a little guy, question part yeah, next yeah. to him. And then he says, Oh, give me that intel that you got off that one planet. You hand it over to him. And he says, "Okay, go to this planet." Yeah, well, where do this secret mission? Where the drama stuff is going to get involved is is when it comes to, uh, it's like, I, I, it's, it's even hard to really even compare because you know, like in my World of Warcraft experience was all about loot and armor mm -hmm. and swords, you know, and and who deserves to get this piece of loot when you know there's six hunters in this forty man raid and two pieces of the of the of the tier three hunter set drops out of you you know and who gets what who gets what you know and, and so everything shared you, you, you developed these systems that yeah. made it fair to where everybody got their stuff but if you weren't there to participate it took you longer to get your shit you, you know you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah so i just you know and there's stuff that can happen like you know like for example we had this one incident way back in the day where we were back in the 40 man days of world of warcraft where we were putting together a uh, sword for our main tank in the guild. One guy out of 40, and I think it was it was called Thunder Fury or something like that. It was a special sword. Mm -hmm. And it took the entire guild months of time to gather all the pieces and and, and equipment and the, and the steel ingots and the things that, you, you know, dropped from the last boss in the base, you know, with a 10% drop rate, you know, and you can only kill them once a week. And you had to get like five of these things or some shit, you know. It took months to put this thing together. And then you present it to your main tank, who's has been this awesome dude up to this point. And then the next week he goes, thanks for the thing. Fuck you guys. I'm going to go to this other guild that's better than you guys. And he like immediately bounces out and changes servers. And you're like, what? What the <laughs> fuck just happened? You know, true story. That happened to our guild. Oh, and shit. The, and we weren't the only guild that kind of stuff happens to. You know, yeah, so yeah. drama. Yeah. Drama ensued. You, you know, and it's bet. like, how the fuck did this happen? You know? Yeah. And um, it's just the, these kind of things breed issues mm -hmm. that, that you not being involved with that kind of a game. You don't know what's coming, man, because we we, <laughs> we already see it sometimes in in Discord. You know, it's little, it little, little yeah, yeah, it peeks its head out every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, yeah, and you have to go, hey, shut the fuck up, <laughs> don't be a dick, or you're gone. That's, you, you, you know, yeah. and uh, that's basically it. You know, it's just it's just it's just going to be kind of a, a new experience for us if if and when that all starts happening. <sighs> so I'm not sure how it's going to apply to the Hell Divers game. Right. I don't know what how what what is going to this, this game is very much capsulate. everything is shared evenly across yeah, the board. We all have the same weapons. We all have the same weapons. We all have the same like whoever collects the samples, we all get them. You know. So uh, stuff like that. I think that might negate a lot of that. Who knows? But I I can totally see the ability to go like if the officers or the people who are in charge of the guild are the ones who get to decide which secret mission or which intel yeah. we're gonna get to go do. And then we or, present you know, that mission or, or, to, the, to the guild. You know, or you and me might want to decide to we're going to go to this planet with with our resources and yeah, a couple other guys and they go go. Oh, that's stupid. We should go over here. <laughs> He's like, well, we're in charge. We're going this way. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do like I rely a lot um, when it comes to like talking about where to go and because yeah. we we have a good grip of people in our Discord. Mm -hmm. That if we put an announcement out and say, hey, we're all going to head to this one planet, there's chances we're going to get a couple of people to come with us. Yeah. Um, but I always rely on the folks who are like entrenched in the intel of the game and mm -hmm. who are like who read up on all the freaking yeah. extra shit. And I'd be like, hey, man, what's what's going on? Tell me where we should go. Or, hey, what have you heard? What's the best place to go? Talk to the A-team people. You know, hey, Christ, where are we going? Like we've, we've already got our guild. We've got our system we've, we've, already kind of set up. We've got our platoon set up. Yeah. You, me, A-team. Yeah. And everybody else. And then our Intel people. And if you want into the A team, we will invite you as we as we grow. see if you see fit. <laughs> and you don't know if we're looking at you or not. <laughs> so it's <all> very secretive. <laughs> it's very secretive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, it, it I'm looking forward to it. I think this is gonna be a, a like having guilds and platoons and whatnot in this game, I think would be a ton of fun. Sure. I think it would be really cool to be able to like piecemeal your resources out and have your, have just, your people go. You got me flashbacking hard. I can tell. I, because You're like, I have a PTSD I mean, man, about I, I am, drama and shit. It's, it's like, <laughs> dude, bro, I, I've, I have filled out 10 page long applications to join what? World of Warcraft guilds. Why do you think you're qualified to join this guild? What is your 
raid experience. What was your highest level of? Oh fuck! Of, oh, it's wild. Fuck it's off. wild, dude. You have no idea. Are you available for a roundtable live uh, <laughs> v- uh, interview over Skype with our with our DPS council? What? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Uh, it's wild, dude. I'm never doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no, crazy. Fuck that. So, uh, <laughs> you think I'm exaggerating? I'm kind of worried not, that you're not. I am not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Well, that's kind of terrifying. <laughs> I'm never going to do that. So, don't worry. Just co- go to saltinerdiscord.com. You watch the you out. watch the comments. There's going to be some stories. <laughs> like, oh my god, you're giving Yeah, it's it's I think the title needs to be this could take a turn for the worse. <laughs> <laughs> this could be real bad, guys. Um, I will not make you fill out 12 page application to join our platoon. No, no, no. <laughs> just, just, just be. It's I don't like, know. What is your name? Are you a dick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a dick. Oh, you're it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but we have enough DPS right now. Are you interested in doing a healer spot? Ips. No, no, not at all. <laughs> I'll, I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> Speaking of hero, he, healer, I mean, we're going to talk about the loadout of the week here in a second, but um, I've been rocking uh, a med pack set up with the new stim gun cool uh, i dove in with the boys this week and uh, i had the medic armor with the the booster mm-hmm. and the med gun the orbital shield and a couple of turrets i didn't bring a single weapon with me if i if i happen to pick one up while it's out there like yeah. a point of interest i would um but it was a great combo I, I felt a little neutered when we were going up against like a um, like a strider or something mm-hmm. like they dropped the strider down and i was like oh fuck because i didn't have anything to fight it with so i just had to literally just hang back and and hopefully help the guys out, maybe drop a, a rail cannon or something and kind of just peck away at it from yeah. a distance. But um, I really enjoy the the support role. It's a lot of fun. It, you get your, your kill count is dropped in half. If you normally get two, 300 kills, you're going to get 150. Yeah. But you, you fall back, you drop your shield down. Or, or my case, 21. <laughs> 21 kills. Jeez. Was it an eradication mission or, no, or like what, a whatever blitz? we were doing last night? That was last night. Our last mission last night. I had like twelve kills. It was, it was unreal, dude. It was so bad. It was, pretty, it was I, rough. It was like, a rough mission. I'm, I'm, I'm deleting it. <laughs> you have deleting this game. I'm deleting this one. <laughs> this 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 live stream did not happen. <laughs> it's immortalized in the Mer- episode thirty three. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do uh, let's do load out of the week. Load out of the this week. is from a guy I played with today, actually, yeah. with Bez, uh, God Merchant or Merchant. Uh, as we call him in the stream, he doesn't like being called God. It's hilarious. He's like, uh, I'm like, why'd you, your name's God Merchant. God Merchant. God. It's like, don't call me God. Just call me Merchant. <laughs> Have you met our friend Christ? <laughs> God Christ. <laughs> um, I'm changing my name to Lucifer. I'm, I'm is the is the name of this <laughs> the the scrap enforcer? Scrap enforcer. Scrap enforcer. Yeah. This is the bot build, I think. Uh, this build will give you good kill amount and ha- help your team tremendously. You're talking about the primary weapon. Jar 5, your secondary, the Stim Pistol, which I did use this week. Um, yep. For those light injuries your teammates don't want to heal, and then for your grenade slot, you're going to be using the Thermite, the goaded Thermite grenades. Yeah, those are, been, those are fun. Those things are dope. If you can get them to stick to something. I'm a terrible Every player. once in a while, mine I'm will bounce off, throw. and I'll be like, the fuck is that? I'm a bad shot. Nah, you'll find. Uh, for stratagems, we're talking the 500 kilogram Eagle airstrike, goaded as well. Yeah. Uh, for the secondary 120 millimeter barrage, your recoilless rifle will take up that backpack slot. And then for this fourth is your rocket sentry. Armor bonus is very important. You must be rocking the peak physique. Mm-hmm. That is a must when it comes to uh, the recoilless rifle and the jar five. It cuts mm-hmm. down on that sway. Uh, the the description provided by God Merchant says this build. This build much is <laughs> to help your teammates kill those big enemies when they cannot, uh, such as factory striders, tanks, etc. Um, your peak physique armor bonus is supposed to counter sway of the weapons like the recoilless rifle mm-hmm. and the jar. When a bot drop happens, don't fire until you see either all drop ships or shoot one down as it is coming and not at the landing spot yet. Your only target for the bot drops is factory striders. It's your job to make sure they don't exist. All right. Thank you, sir. That is a dope loadout. I'm looking forward to using it. Um, <clears throat> good stuff, man. You guys ready? You ready for some uh, some viewer comments? Is that where we're at? Yeah, that's where viewer we're at. Viewer comments? Thank you, God Merchant, for that loadout of the week. Yeah, that was I good. I like it. it. I, like, I like the uh, idea that 
you're there for support. Yeah. With the, with the big boys. There needs to be more. I mean, and this is up to you. I mean, when when you're doing like randos and you're just jumping into a public server, it's a little bit different. Everybody's mm-hmm. just going to bring what they want. But if you're like loading out with a squad that you regularly play with, I do think it's important that everybody kind of has like a role. Mm-hmm. Um, I find it more enjoyable for whatever reason. I can't exactly explain it. But like if I'm if I'm going out with my medic loadout, I kind of like being the dude that they run to when they don't have any stims left. Mm-hmm. And I just freaking, you know, stim them from a distance or whatever. Or... It was funny because we were we were booking it from one one PO uh, point of interest to another, and I was ahead of the group. I had fucked off a little bit earlier than the rest of them, mm-hmm. so I was up on this hill and I was watching them run towards me. And as they're running towards me, I'm stimming them so that their stamina doesn't run out. And they were just and they just go zoom, they just go <laughs> zooming past me, and I'm like, fuck yeah! He's it's like, this dope. is awesome. <laughs> it's good stuff. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> ready for some viewer comments? Viewer comments. Hit me with the first one, Dutch. Oh, boy. From... We like hot chicks. We like hot chicks. I like hot chicks. Yeah, me too. All right. Um, Illuminator coming in October, bros. Liberty Day is October 26th. 60-day plan ends mid-October. Just in time for Illuminate release. Perfect Halloween faction. That's my two cents. So he's guessing, but... Well, that's in response... Yeah, it's in response to us saying it's going to happen on the one-year anniversary, mm-hmm. like February 2025. Yeah. Um, I'm... Totally down for it to come early. Yeah. If it comes in October, Halloween time, sweet. Yeah, I can be terrible fighting those. This is like, because I'm terrible as I It'll am. be so much fun to find a new faction, <laughs> like new bugs. new enemies and and new weaknesses <clears throat> and new strengths and maybe some new weapons or I something. I think I'm just going to go live in sixes. Sixes are good. Sixes are Dude, I sixes I and sevens I'm, are comfortable. I think I'm just going to be a six and seven guy. <laughs> <laughs> and people can give me shit if they want, but... You know, not whatever. dude not, i don't <laughs> i don't get this mentality where it's like if you don't run tens you're a bitch like yeah no, i don't either. think that's true at all run I, run the, I, you, I, you, I, I watch you guys run tens it looks stressful <laughs> it's like that does not look fun i can uh, only do tens if i have a good squad yeah if i have a solid squad four people who all know what they're doing and we all support each other and we may have regular communication they're challenging but they're yeah. fun i'm a meanderer you like to just kind of game, dude. You like to, you're, you like to just relax and play the game. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a problem with that. I, if I'm running solo or maybe it's just like me and one other person, I'm fucking running fives, bro. Because mm-hmm. I'm more useful completing a, a whole campaign of level fives yeah. than I am failing at like two or three different eights and nines and tens. Yep. You know what I mean? It makes more sense to me, but whatever. We did, a, we did an here's operation. Your, here's your skill tissue. Yeah, we did an <laughs> operation with the boys a couple nights ago. And we didn't extract out of two of the three missions. It was, mm. it was crazy. It was just like, and, and yeah, we, we're nuts. never that bad. We're never that bad. The game, something's something, changed about the yeah. game, dude. They've, they've, they've buffed <clears throat> the enemies. They've buffed our weapons, but then yeah. they also made the enemies way harder to kill. <laughs> they did something. They did that something to these sure. guys. They are more ferocious. The bot, the bugs are more ferocious and di- more difficult to, to kill. And the bots have deadly as fuck aim. Yeah. And I, I think that's more or less what it is. Like the, because I can still kill the bots with the same weapons I've always used. And even those armored chicken walkers, mm-hmm. if you oh, use. Oh, God, they're a pain in the ass. They're a pain in the dick. But if you have a medium armor, uh, armor penetrating weapon, like the revolver or mm-hmm. maybe the adjudicator or something like that, if you shoot that, like that area that connects the body to the legs, shoot that like three or four times, they fall over dead. Right. Whether they're the full armored one or not. You have to have that medium pen, though. So it's not that they're more difficult to kill. I think they just. They fucking hit harder. Yeah. And and they're way more like deadly. It. it feels like. Yeah. Next comment is from a uh, a regular from our Discord and our YouTube channel, Northwind82. Says, can you put the Salt Divers logo on a coffee mug? As yes. a matter of fact, we can. Yes, yes, we and can. As a matter of fact, we have. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what the... I think it'll be in the description. We'll, we'll find it. We'll put it in there. You can buy the Salt Divers coffee mug, t-shirt, hoodie, all kinds of weird ass shit. I put it all on Teespring last, yep. last week. So it's all there. Um, if you can't find it on YouTube for whatever reason, if it's not in the YouTube description, go to saltinerdiscord.com. All of the links are available in our announcement page where we have all of our, our stuff. There's yep. Weekend Respawn merch. There's Salt Divers merch. There's uh, uh, the, the Space Marines merch. There's all kinds of cool stuff. So, True. yeah, coffee mugs are a go. All right, what's the next one, dude? Uh, from a dude named uh, Zhao Z- These people in their names. Jow just, just spell it dash out. Zx8 in u Zenu 
<laughs> Jiao Zinu, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> if you're having crashes, reduce graphics quality a little bit. Shadows and reflexes, a little worked for me. Hell Divers takes too much GPU and CPU on harder difficulties. So I don't know if any of this is true, but it makes sense. Well, my laptop, I'll tell you, my laptop is a couple of years old. Mm -hmm. It runs a NVIDIA GTX 2050 with uh, an i7? I have no idea. I think it's an i7. Um, I've got most of my graphics to the lowest setting. And I've, I, don't, I have all the plumes and all the light effects and all that shit way, way down. And it, the fucking thing gets hot, mm -hmm. but it runs it pretty smooth. The only time I have issues is I think when it's, it's on the game side is like we have frame rate drops, but that's all because of the, yeah. the servers and the game itself. That's not because of the, because most of the time my laptop will run it just fine. And it's on like the bare minimum requirements of the, of the game. Remember uh, how last week I was saying how I had never crash? Yeah, you crashed a whole bunch, didn't you? Um, last night I crashed for the okay. for, for the first time ever. That's like, not your fault though. That's not your computer. That's so, that's a the game because literally yeah. as I remember we, we 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 went down. You were mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden I got purple question marks coming out all yes. out of my head. Yep, they, it was bugging out everywhere, and it was just it was weird. They did something last night around midnight mm -hmm. our time, which is like eight or nine a.m. Sweden time. They were fucking with something. Somebody got into the office and they went in there and they fucked with I'm not even joking. I'm 100% sure that they made some kind of a change or update or whatever because I started playing at like 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. And I was on all the way until after midnight with you when we started the live stream. Yeah. And I could tell a difference. When I started playing at 9 p.m., everything was golden. Mm -hmm. And then around 11, 30, 12 o'clock, everything started fucking up. Question marks all over the place. Yeah. I would lose connection. I would crash. I'd have to restart the game. All kinds of problems. And today was better, but still, I still, a couple of the guys still had some question marks around them. Mm. So they're definitely doing something behind the scenes. And it, it, it started last night on what day is it? Well, those, September 29th. Stealth nerfs. They are. They're doing fucking stealth nerfs. I'm not joking. <laughs> they seriously are. They're fucking with shit behind the scenes. They're not telling us about it. Watching you, bro. Yeah, we can tell. I'm playing. We know. We play all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the game definitely needs to have, or I mean, I, it, it definitely helps to kind of adjust your settings per your equipment, whatever you're using. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think there's times where it just doesn't matter. Sometimes the game's just going to fuck up. It's going just, just to crash. just going to crash because they're fucking, yeah. they're doing stuff in the behind the scenes. One more. <clears throat> all right. One more from Duncan Todd. 1267 says great episode loving the good vibes we're back it's fun back but oh, the fun's back uh thanks super earth yeah last week was a ton of fun the yeah. last two weeks have been a ton yeah. of fun i'm loving the new rail cannon gun, the the real rail gun i think fucking cooks dude mm -hmm. just one shots pretty much everything pretty much everything pretty fun. except for the maybe the the walking striders but i heard somebody in the comments said and i wish i had it pulled up that they one-shotted a Strider in that little red eye with the rail cannon or with the rail gun. And I'm like, I've tried that so many times and it never works. And I always get my ass handed to me. <laughs> like, I'll be like, I'm going to go for the one shot. And I run out to it and just freaking brrr, guns me down. I'm like, ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But good stuff, man. All right. All right. That's it for the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Continue to dive. Have a lot of fun. Um, I'm still having a blast. I still log on every day with this yep. game. I'm going to be playing the shit out of it this week for sure. Um, but of course, there's a new shiny toy out right now, Forever Winter. It's kind of got my attention a little bit. Dude, Christ is... He's, it's hooked. 50 hours. Already? Already. <laughs> I have two. We've lost him. I have two and We've a half. We've lost our boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't play Helldivers anymore. He's, he's sneaking around. He's a freaking scab. <laughs> <laughs> he's a scabby. Um, we'll be talking about that game for sure on our other show. If you guys want to check out the weekend respawn on Fridays, um, we're having a ton of fun making that show too. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Get us that 5K mark so we can do our giveaway. And uh, stay salty, folks. See you on the other side. Peace.